Hello guys, welcome back to my platform. I'm here to give you an update on immigration. Okay, um, let's see what's going on with, um, in Europe. So at least right now, um, up to 12 people have lost their lives trying to cross the um, English Channel to the United Kingdom. Remember that uh, migrants have always used this route to, you know, transit to the UK from France. Okay. And the um, France, go, um, the, what do you call it? The UK government have been working so hard to reduce the number of um, immigrants that are flooding their country. So they have also been trying their best in helping France, in funding France, in paying security agencies to mount these uh, departure um, locations in France where they usually gather before takeoff. But, you know, the government cannot cover every area. The sea is always very wide. So these people have also, um, always continued this perilous journey. May, may the soul of the dead rest in peace. Now, at least 12 have drowned. Okay, French authorities have said that a boat carrying an estimated 70 migrants capsized in the English Channel. And they said that a search and rescue operation is underway to recover um, both bodies and um, those who may survive it. At least 12 people have drowned after a small boat carrying about, um, about 70 migrants capsized in the English Channel on Tuesday. Tuesday, that is the 3rd of September 2024, just off the northern coast of France, near Bologna Soma, Bologna Soma, according to French Interior Minister Gerald Damanin, who is giving us this update. Damanin added that a search and rescue mission was underway involving fire brigade and navy helicopters, several military vessels, and two fishing boats are also involved in this rescue operation. Now, what do we know so far? Now, they said that local authorities said that several other people had been rescued, um, but remain in serious condition and warned that the death toll could yet rise. At least two people are still reported to be missing. Unfortunately, the bottom of the boat ripped open said Olivia Barbarin, mayor of Le Portel, a suburb of Bologna, Soma, where a first aid post was set up to treat the victims. Barbarins had earlier put the death toll at 13, but later he said um, that what they could get at least at hand was um, 12. So the death toll could also rise. Now, they said that the boat had reportedly been attempting to cross from France to the United Kingdom when it, spotted, when it was spotted in difficulty by a French vessel. The mink, which had gone to its aid before it broke up, the mink's captain, Etienne Baggio, told the AFP news agency. Sea temperatures in the area were around 20 degrees Celsius, that is 68 Fahrenheit. Okay? When this incident happened, according to him, he said that it's a huge drama. And um, <clears throat> say your may, uh, may your Barbarin, of what is the most deadly single incident in the English Channel involving migrants this 2024. So this is the highest tragedy that um, has occurred in this uh, English Channel. Remember that this English Channel is one of the busiest routes in the world where there is constant movement of ships carrying goods from one place to another but these migrants in a desperate effort to leave france uh, for a better life in the uk so that shows you that europe still pass europe <laughs> you understand so people who are living in france still wants to advance their lives so they end up in this uh, journey again even though most, uh, some of them have crossed the Mediterranean Sea to Italy previously. Then they left Italy and then they entered into France. And now from France, they also want to transit to UK, which is where they want to make their final base. These things, the influx of migrants through this means, 
was what led to the uh, um, agreement that the UK government had previously with Rwanda to deport these migrants to that place where the asylums could be processed, you know, but um, it didn't work. Some 25 people had already lost their lives attempting to cross um, since January, already surpassing the 12 deaths recorded in the whole of 2023. Barbarin said that the towns out of use Hoover port had been opened for use by rescue helicopters. According to the local Voice do Not newspaper, Interior Minister Damanin is expected in Bologna, Soma this afternoon. All government services have been immobilized or have been mobilized, excuse me, to find the missing and take care of the victims. Damanin wrote on social media, I am on my way to meet elected officials and the emergency services. And uh, migrant um, agencies and activists have been criticizing the French government over, you know, that when these things happen, they always <laughs> blame government. So it's like um, children, when they commit uh, an offense, the blame most likely will come to the parents, all right? Now, the migrant aid campaign group, Utopia 56, has criticized the French authorities over their management of the migrant crisis on the English uh, Channel coast, accusing them of contributing to this uh, deadly incident. There have been deaths in the Channel every week for two months now, says spokeswoman Charlotte Quantes, telling AFP re uh, repressive policy in coastal areas was completely ineffective and that it leads to these sorts of tragedies. Now, Six migrants died in three separate incidents in one week in July. Okay. Um, four on July the 12th, one woman on July 17th, and one man on July 19th. Right? Another young woman was crushed to death on an overcrowded boat at the end of July, but two more people were declared dead on near Calais on August. 11. So this is how people have been losing their lives um, trying to reach the UK so far. But um, this 2024, um, according to statistics, they say that this particular incident is the highest um, recorded, at least in one, uh, in one uh, um, accident. This is the highest. Let me play you some of the videos confirming this report. Okay. Um, we are hearing that at least 10 people have now died uh, after that boat carrying migrants and asylum seekers capsized in the English Channel. Uh, so a French local paper, La Voix du Nord, is reporting that at least 10 people have now died. We also know, of course, that there were a number of people in a critical condition, um, reportedly, plus, of course, the people trying to be rescued from the water. <laughs> All right, so that's um, an update about that. And I'm also, I have here this one, Migrant Rescue After Boot Capsizes in English Channel. So this is another news also confirming this very incident. So may the soul of those who died in this uh, very incident rest in peace because this has always been the story. It is either you make it or you lose your life. Um, in this journey, so it has all it has it has been like a war, you know. When soldiers go to war, some will die and some will also uh, make it alive. So, guys, help me share this information and um, spread it across so others will know what is going on in the English Channel. So, guys, if you want to send money to Nigeria from UK, you can use this very app. Tap tap send. It's very reliable and they um their rate is also very high. If you use my promo code on the screen, which is Critics News, they are going to give you five pounds for those in UK, five euros for those in Europe, ten dollars for those in USA and Canada, and twenty-five AED for those in Saudi Arabia countries like that. Okay. Um so please try and um, use it so you can enjoy these bonuses. The promo code remains Critics News. Type it in capital letters. See you on the next one. Thank you.